Honorable Jane Sandra Inala Mason, President of Barbados. The Honorable Mia Amar Motley, Prime Minister. The Honorable Sir Patterson Cheltenham, Chief Justice. Members of Cabinet, the Right Excellent Sir Garfield Sobers, National Hero of Barbados. The Right Excellent Ambassador Robin Rihanna Fenty, National Hero. His Excellency Sir Rodney Williams, Governor General of Antigua and Barbuda and Lady Williams. Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley and Mrs. Rowley. The Honorable Philip Pierre, Prime Minister of St. Lucia. The Honorable Philip Davis, Prime Minister of the Bahamas. The Honorable Mark Phillips, Prime Minister of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Dr. Carla Barnett, CARICOM Secretary General. Other foreign dignitaries, members of the diplomatic corps, the 2021 independent honorees, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I greet you on this day as we present the National Independence Award and witness the Prime Minister's address to the nation. I do so from this hallowed place, Golden Square Freedom Park, and I do so on a bright Barbados Day with just a few showers as we celebrate our 55th anniversary of independence and move forward in strength and unity now as a parliamentary republic. Please sit. The prayers will be delivered by the Reverend Dr. Cicely Athel Hosford, Chairman of the Barbados Christian Council. My friends, would you please stand with me as we pray? Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you people. For his mercy is great towards us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Almighty God, you are the ruler of nations, and to your gracious providence, we owe the manifold blessings of this nation, Barbados. You have kept us over this past. 55 years of independence. We confess, Lord, that in many times and many things, we have departed from your precepts and from your judgments. And it is because of your mercy that we are not consumed. We pray you to have mercy on us. To you belong mercy and forgiveness. Though we have rebelled against you, neither have we obeyed your voice, O Lord our God, to walk in the laws which you have set before us. Have mercy upon us and pardon our transgressions. Bless, O Lord, we pray, all who are in places of authority, especially the President, the Prime Minister, the Chief Justice, the Leader of the Opposition, and all those whom you have placed authority in their hands. Protect them from violence and fill their hearts and the hearts of the people with reverence and love. In a very special way, God, we remember those who have been on the front line almost 21 months. God, we pray for strength. We pray for courage that you will help them never to retreat or never to surrender. Grant unto your people of this land 
love and peace and respect that we should learn war no more. Grant unto those who are of the household of faith that as citizens of this nation they may adorn the gospel in all of their works and in all that they do and in all that they think. Make this nation a chosen instrument of a, the promotion of peace, freedom, and righteousness. May it be a haven for the oppressed of other lands, a home of happiness for all who dwell within its borders. And may our heritage of liberty be preserved unimpaired for the generations to come. We pray that all we do bring honor and glory to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Please be seated. Thank you, Reverend Dr. Cicely Athel Horsford, Chairman of the Barbados Christian Council. We will now have the oath of allegiance to Barbados, first rendered by members of the House of Assembly. And at this point, I ask members of the House of Assembly to assemble. And they will come forward in groups of 10. The Honorable Santia J.O. Bradshaw. The Honorable Kerry Simmons. The Honorable Cynthia Ford. The Honorable Adrian Ford. The Honorable Kurt Humphrey. The Honorable Colin Jordan, the Honorable Peter Phillips, and the Honorable Ryan Strawn will now take the oath of allegiance by placing their hands on the Bible.
and I now ask you to repeat after me. I do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Barbados according to law. So help me God. Thank you. The Honorable Indah Weir, the Honorable John King, the Honorable Dwight Sutherland, the Honorable Ronald Toppin, the Honorable Ian Gooden Edgel, the Honorable Charles Griffith, and the Honorable Wilfred Abrams, and the Honorable Dr. William Duguid. Please place your hands on the Bible. And repeat after me. I do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Barbados according to law. So help me God. I thank you. And finally, the Honorable Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Bostick, who will swear and the Honorable Marsha Cattle, who will affirm. Please place your hands on the Bible and repeat after me. I do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Barbados according to law. So help me God. Thank you. The Speaker of the House, His Honor Arthur Holder. The Honorable Neil Rowe. The Honorable Dr. Sonia Brown. The Honorable Tony Moore. The Honorable Edmund Hinkson. Please place your hands on the Bible and repeat after me. I do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Barbados according to law. So help me God.
you to come and do the Sanadura. Members of the Senate will now make the oath of allegiance to Barbados. I ask you to come forward. Senator the Honorable K. McConney. His Honor Reginald Farley, President of the Senate. Rudolph Cappy Greenwich. Senator Dr. the Honorable Jerome Walcott. Senator Lisa Cummins. Senator Dr. Crystal Haynes. Senator Althea Wiggins. Senator Dr. Romel Springer. Senator Lindell Nurse. Please place your hands on the Bible and repeat after me. I do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Barbados according to law so help me god i thank you Senator Damien Sands. Senator Dr. Christopher Maynard. Senator Dr. Reverend Rogers. Senator Rudy Grant. Senator Kevin Boyce. Please place your hands on the Bible and repeat after me. I do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Barbados according to law. So help me God. Mr. Ralph Thorne. The Honorable Trevor Prescott. The Honorable Bishop Joseph Adderley.
please place your hands on the Bible and repeat after me. I do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Barbados according to law. So help me God. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, I now ask you to sit back and enjoy a spooled medley performed by G Syndicate. Good morning, everyone, and happy independence to you. Good morning, everyone. All right. Every time I kiss your girl, you're so sweet. Every time I hold your girl, you're so sweet. Every time I love your girl, you're so sweet. Can you see that I'm so cool? Every time I kiss your girl, you're so sweet. Every time I hold your girl, you're so sweet. Every time I love your girl, you're so sweet. Can you see that I'm so cool? I'm a 
Scrooge Medley. We'll now have the presentation of insignia by the President, Her Excellency the Most Honorable Dame Sandra Mason. This morning we will start with the Order of Freedom of Barbados. And I invite you, whether in Golden Square, outside Golden Square, wherever you are, within hearing my voice, to cheer loudly and lustily for these loyal sons and daughters who have given yeoman service to their country. The Order of Freedom of Barbados for outstanding and extraordinary achievement and merit to service to Barbados and humanity at large for the year 2021 was first conferred on our president and his Royal Highness Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales at last evening's Pride of Nationhood ceremony for the declaration of Barbados as the Republic and the installation of the president. This morning, we will also announce the winners of the Order of Freedom of Barbados, presented to the COVID-19 leadership team and shared by Lieutenant Colonel the Honorable Jeffrey Bostick, Senator Dr. the Honorable Jerome Walcott, Dr. Kenneth George, Dr. Corey A. Ford, Dr. Sanji Beckles, Mrs. Jeanette Phillips and Miss Alice Jordan. And in a true and consistent demonstration of cohesiveness and selflessness, we will also be announcing and presenting the Gold Award of Achievement and the Humanitarian Award at a ceremony coming very soon, the date to be announced and the COVID-19 leadership team have decided that they will receive their honors and celebrate with their peers on that date. And that too 
is worthy of a round of applause. The Order of Freedom of Barbados for their committed and tiring and outstanding leadership and general service is presented to Mr. Peter Odo in recognition of his committed and outstanding contribution to tourism and the hospitality sectors and civic duties. Mr. Peter Odo. To receive the COVID-19 Leadership Team Award, Dr. Corey A. Ford will now accept on behalf of the entire team. Dr. Corey Ford. In recognition of his outstanding achievement as an international cricketer, representing Barbados and the West Indies with high distinction as one of the finest opening batsmen the game has ever seen, Mr. Desmond Haynes. for outstanding contribution to commercial activity in Barbados in the retail food sector, Mr. Bertram Hall. in recognition of his enduring contribution to music, the arts, entertainment, and culture in Barbados and internationally. The man who taught us to sing Bim, I Love You, and Hallelujah, Mr. Stetson Wiltshire.
the Order of the Republic for Distinguished National Achievement and Merit. Mr. Rudolph Nathaniel Cappy Greenwich for his distinguished contribution to education, both locally and abroad. His many years of dedicated and exemplary service to sports, civic and public life, and national development. Ms. Juliet Skinner, in recognition of her sterling contribution in the medical field in Barbados and globally, as well as medical research. Mr. Anthony Pickering, for his selfless contribution to commercial activity in Barbados while supporting several worthy civic and philanthropic causes, many catering to the development of the nation's youth and society at large. Mrs. Nisha L. Hiraman Tani, in recognition of her long and invaluable contribution to commercial activity in Barbados and civic duties in general. Mr. John Richard Aline, in recognition of long and distinguished contribution to real estate in Barbados and economic development, he will receive his after Mrs. Nisha L. Hiramand Thani. Mr. John Richard Aline, in recognition of long and distinguished contributions to real estate in Barbados and economic development.
the gold trident of excellence for highly meritorious service for achievement in science, the arts, literature, sport, civic duties, or any other endeavor worthy of national recognition. Mrs. Deborah Lynch Theobalds, for her stellar representation at Barbados internationally in netball at all levels, and her unstinting efforts to promote and develop the sport locally and in international arenas. <laughs> Mr. Peter Adonijah Ali in recognition of his distinguished contribution to culture and to journalism in Barbados. Mr. Alin is not with us this morning, but our applause should still be loud. Thank you. Mrs. Corrine Kennedy Tate, for her outstanding contribution to education, education administration and training in Barbados and across the region, and her community work among the youth. Mr. Roger Arthur Edgel, for his outstanding contribution to real estate and agriculture in pursuit of reducing the country's dependency on food imports. The Reverend Vincent Wood, in recognition of his long and outstanding contribution to religion and community development in Barbados. <clears throat> the Silver Trident of Excellence for highly meritorious service, for achievement in science, the arts, literature, sport, and civic duties will follow as we all hail and recognize the long and outstanding contribution to religion and community development in Barbados, the Reverend Vincent Wood. Trident of Excellence, for highly meritorious service for achievement in science, the arts, literature, sport, civic duties, or any other endeavor worthy of national recognition. Mr. Suleiman Mohammed Bulbulia, for his strong commitment to see in Barbados become a place of inclusivity and mutual respect and his contribution to bridging societal divides in underprivileged communities in Barbados and the region.
Ms. Linda Goodrich, for her long and distinguished service in banking and her passionate commitment to community work, especially in the Diamond Corner St. Peter neighborhood. Mr. Roger Boyce, for his outstanding and successful representation of Barbados in international bodybuilding competitions and his commitment to assisting others in this sporting endeavor. Mr. Dennis McIntosh, in recognition of his outstanding commitment to Pan-Africanism and the promotion of art and culture and international public service. Mr. Larry Mears, in recognition of his long and distinguished career in broadcasting and his passion for community engagement, a passion which led to the birth of the very popular Q in the community. The Barbados Service Star, for meritorious work in the public, fire, military, police, prison, or other protective services, or any other similar field of endeavor, is presented first to Mr. Anthony Spencer, for his distinguished commitment to pastoral duties and a small business, contributing to commercial and economic activity in the north of the island. Reverend David Nathaniel Holder, for his long and distinguished service to the Nazarene Church in pastoral and administrative roles in Barbados and regionally, and his extensive work among the youth in society. Thank you. 
Mr. Mencia Crookendale, for information technology services beyond the call of duty to students who needed to have their technical devices configured in order to access online classes during the COVID pandemic. And I'm told Mr. Crookendale is not here with us this morning. We commend him and celebrate him nonetheless. <laughs> Mr. Elvis Gill, for his exceptional commitment to developing the skill of stick licking and his quest to prevent this form of martial art from disappearing from our culture. Miss Thelma Bain, for over 40 years of outstanding service to nursing, in particular midwifery, and later administration and district care in the community.